Hello and thank you for tuning in to Millennium Movies. So this is going to be my recap and review for Servant Season 4 Episode 5. And, you know, this episode was just plot development galore, right? I mean, we finally started to get some rewards for sticking, you know, to this series and being patient, you know, with a lot of the nuggets of mystery and intri intrigue that they've dropped throughout the series and through this, you know, beginning of this season especially. And really that that boils down to the the fact that sean and dorothy are now fully 100 on the same page and we see them that they're you know trying to host this party under the guise of you know uh, uh you know just trying to have a good time getting to know your new neighbors but really they under they know that most likely one of these new neighbors or several of these new neighbors if not all of them are some of leanne's former church members who are there to capture her and take her away but Sean and Dorothy realizes, they realize that this is exactly what they want. This could solve their problems, that someone else can take Leanne out of their lives for them. So essentially, that's the setup for this episode. And in that setup, we get a lot of what makes Servant a great series. We get a ton of suspense and tension and terror with, you know, the, knowing that someone in this party, someone in this house is a threat to not only Leanne, but potentially maybe even baby Jericho. I mean, who knows at this point with, you know, the people of, of the church who know that Jericho is in their eyes an abomination and should not exist. So, you know, it's a danger to Jericho as well as Leanne. And that's something that, you know, Dorothy uh, is not aware of because she doesn't know the truth of what really happened, but it creates for some great suspense and creates for some great suspension. And then as well as just, you know, with some comedic levity, levity as well, because, these people are just so strange and Sean and Dorothy just do not know what they're doing. Sean even says it himself that they're terrible detectives and it just makes for some really awkward uh, conversations with, you know, their with their neighbors. And we find out that they have some really freaky neighbors, not the, you know, Leanne's former church type of freaky. I mean, like a little too freaky, like, hey, keep that information to yourself. You know, we got some people who are making moves on Leanne. We got some people making moves on Sean. Uh, you know, it, it was it was it was it was wild. It was a wild episode, but it, it really um what what it really did was was sort of fast forward a lot of uh, the pl the major plotline of this of this season, which is that you know the Turners are you know basically we, we we're we're seeing that the Turners are all going to finally get back on the same uh, page together, and you know it's going to be the Turners versus Leanne, even though that you know they, they they realize that Leanne is incredibly powerful and she's been growing far more powerful as the seasons have progressed, and we saw that in this episode where you know at one point we see her and what was a great shot man the cinematography and the 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 shot direction and the framing and you know the just the composition of all these uh um scenes that we saw on the picture the pictures that we saw on screen were just you know there was so so they were so unique they were so odd and off-putting but that that fits with the vibe of this series and the shot i, I want to you know mostly um uh, put my finger on and put attention to is that shot where Leanne was in the park and she had the book of all these you know basically like her uh, trophy moments of her lives and things that her powers have brought her and sort of moments encapsulating you know those times in her life where she's used her powers for her own self-benefit or for helping other people and seeing her you know uh, sort of tear off the pages and, and give them to her followers and say hey if you believe in something if you want it to come true you know you're going to go out there and you're going to you're going to you're going to try and find information for me in terms of who of these people who are going to Sean and Dorothy's house, you know, while they're gone, find some dirt on them, find out who is in the church. And if you can do that, I will make a dream of yours come true. But just the imagery of that, sh the shot in that that moment where, you know, she's she's there and she's uh, they're all huddling around her, you know, it's just it, it makes her seem like sort of this dark biblical figure. And I, I know with M. Night Shyamalan, all his movies, he, he really heavily preaches faith and there's so many thematic, you know, uh, there's so many different themes in his in his works of art about faith and belief and God and and spirits. And so, uh, you know, just this was uh, this episode just was a perfect, perfect encapsulation of what you're going to expect and hope to get out of an M. Night Shyamalan uh, cinematic experience. So, you know, great work there again on the on the cinematography and the shot composition for this episode. But uh, yeah, so Leanne is, you know, she was fully aware, and at, at the end of this episode, she does, she does find herself in a situation where she's almost captured by two church members, but then we see, you know, again, the strength of her power and how much her power has grown, because that, those cracks that have been forming all throughout the Turner house, in and around the Turner house, finally culminated in a massive sinkhole right in the middle of the street, 
in term and this comes from you know Leanne sort of trying to you know get out of this very sticky situation and we see you know and this the most important thing about this entire sequence other than the fact that Leanne now knows what Sean and and uh, Dorothy are up to but I think the most important thing in terms of the, the story overall what this scene accomplished aside from just looking really cool and being ex executed very well was the fact that now uh Julian gets to see it himself we saw the fear in julian's eyes as he was holding baby jericho and realizing that okay yeah this was leanne's doing and because at first you know julian was upset upset with sean with for the fact that sean is now on dorothy's side and wants to get rid of leanne again but where julian was upset at the beginning of the episode now at the end where he sees what leanne really is capable of uh, you know, we starting, I think we're going to now in the next episode and the rest of the series going forward, we're going to see that Julian is going to finally shift over to the Turner side. And I think when Julian finally turns, that's going to be the final, like, uh, one of the, one of the final nails in the coffin for Leanne in terms of getting her to, uh, go full on villain. So very exciting stuff here. Very, 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 very strong episode of Servant season four. So I I'm very curious to hear what you guys are thinking. I want to know what your opinions are on this episode and what you're uh, expecting to see not only next week, but as the, you know, the series comes to a wrap, but yeah, that has been my review and recap for Servant season four, episode five. And I'd be very curious to, to, to know what you guys thought as well. So until next time for all your latest in the world of movie and TV news, this has been Millennium Movies and I will see you all very soon.